Good morning, sir, and good morning, classmates. I am Gila Isabella C. Rona from the section SA32. So right now, I will present to you my answer to the three guide questions through using this talking presentation. Here are the following three guide questions that I will answer throughout this talking presentation. First, what's the relevance of the video to the learning environment? Second, how can we infuse happiness in the workplace as teachers? Third, five manifestations of a conducive learning environment. Here is the first question that I will answer. What's the relevance of the video to the learning environment? As a pre-service teacher, I think the said video able us to glimpse or view into a good learning environment that a classroom must possess. Wherein, it was modeled by our very own Lady Normal University that is a leading teacher training institute of Eastern Visayas. From that, we can have an idea that a good learning environment starts from the management of a good teacher. Considering that they are the one who will set up the classroom environment, facilitate, and serve as a leader. Significantly, a teacher must possess an attitude which is being optimistic, dedicated, having a good relationship towards his or her colleagues, and most of all, full of knowledge and skills. Which is essential in order to be a good teacher for managing a classroom that is said to be a good learning environment which is conducive and attaining to the needs of his or her learners. Here's the second question. How can we infuse happiness in the workplace as a teacher? Answer. It is our obligation and responsibility as a teacher to maintain a good relationship to our colleagues for a healthy workplace. Moreover, Making learning fun and interesting is important for our learners to gain knowledge, skills, and wisdom from us. Wherein, as a teacher, we will think of activities and motivation that will be fun at the same time enriching towards our students. Resulting for our learners not to be stressed, nervous, and nor bored in our class, but to be more participative as well as interactive. In addition, giving support, encouragement is necessary to be flourished in our classroom in order for our students to develop self-confidence towards themselves. From that, learning will be able to take place successfully. Here's the third and last question, which is all about five manifestations of a conducive learning environment. First, it must be a classroom that have a good space to accommodate our learners that will be flexible to their needs, especially when they will have group activities. Second, the temperament of the classroom is just mild, not hot or cold. Third, getting your students to cooperate which means introducing them to the classrooms that they must follow to have a peaceful environment. Fourth, having a supporting environment that's able to motivate and encourage your students. Lastly, maintaining a good classroom that is acceptable and respectful to any culture or beliefs of your student, which promotes unity and diversity despite of our differences.